Are you ready to become a better reader? Today, we're going to dive right in to a wonderful comprehension lesson to help you learn how to determine the central message of a story. Are you ready? Let's go. Today's lesson is going to focus on the following standard. Standards drive our instruction, and today's learning target is going to help us to reach our goal. Today, you'll notice that our verbs, the things that we're responsible for, are in green. And our key vocabulary words are in blue. So let's take a look at those. I can recount stories, including fables, folk tales, and myths from diverse cultures, determine the central message, lesson, or moral, and explain how it is conveyed through key details in the text. We have three things that we're responsible for. Recounting, that means going back and remembering what something is about, determining or figuring out or identifying, and explaining. Let's dive right in. So I know you've read fairy tales before, and I know that one of those fairy tales was The Three Little Pigs. Think back to what that story was about. In The Three Little Pigs, what do we remember the pigs learning? Was it A, the wolf was not very strong? B, working hard is the best idea? Or C, a brick house is the strongest? Well, if you said B, working hard is the best idea, you are right on track. Let's think about another fairy tale, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. There's a lesson that Goldilocks learned. Was it A, bears are friendly, B, eating too much makes you sleepy, or C, ask before going into a stranger's house? Well, of course, Goldilocks should have asked before going into the stranger's house. Today, we're gonna take what we already know about fairy tales, and we're gonna connect them to identifying the central message of a story. Now that we've determined the central message of fairy tales, let's now dive in to special stories called fables and folk tales. Let's remember our focus. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the central message. The central message in a story is a lesson about life. Central message is shown when a character learns a lesson, and central message can also be shown by clue words. And let's take a look at those clue words. Over on the right-hand side, you see learned, knew, showed, and found out. Right now, we're gonna take a look at a famous fable, The Crow and the Pitcher. We're gonna read through this story and we're gonna work to identify the central message. A thirsty crow flew to a pitcher of water. Crow tried many ways to get the water, but could not reach it. At last, he used his beak to drop stones in the pitcher. The stones made the water rise, then he could drink the water. Crow learned that problems can be solved if you keep trying. Did you hear any of our clue words for identifying the central message? If you spotted learned, you're right on track. Remember that central message is all about the character learning a lesson. And in this story, the central message could be a lesson about helping people. Think about in your own words what the central message is of this story and how you could retell this story to someone else. I have identified some key steps to follow when you're trying to identify the and determine the central message. First, read the story carefully. Second, identify the characters by circling them or highlighting them if you're on a device. Three, identify a clue word for the central message. You can underline if you so choose. Four, determine the central message. Remember, that's what the character learns. And five, identify what helped you determine the central message. 
That's your answer. So as we're going through our stories, I want you to think about the steps to determining the central message. You read carefully, you identify the characters, you identify your clue words, and that helps you to determine the central message. And once you've determined the central message, support it with specific evidence from the text. Let's take a look at another story, the color of wings. A peacock was proud of its colorful feathers. The peacock teased the crane because his feathers were white. The crane said, true, but I can fly high in the sky and you walk below like a chicken. Then the peacock learned that what you can do is more important than how you look. Well, let's go through our steps to identify and determine the central message. Let's identify the characters. Who were the characters in our story? Peacock and Crane. Now, check out our clue word for identifying the central message. If you said learned, you're right on track. And now, notice I have circled in red what you can do is more important than how you look because that is the statement that helped me to determine what the central message was. I used all the clues that were provided to me in the story to help me to reach my end goal of determining the central message. Now, let's answer a few questions. From what aspects of the text, what helped us to determine the central message? How about this phrase here? Because his feathers were white, does that help me determine the central message? No. What about the peacock teased the crane? Does that help me determine the central message? No. What about the crane said, I can fly high in the sky? Does that help me determine the central message? Yes, it does. Let's try with a different example. Take a look at this story, Feathers. Remember, we're gonna follow through our steps of determining the central message. First, we're gonna read the story carefully. Second, we're going to identify the characters. Third, we're gonna look for our clue words, learned, knew, showed, or even found out. Then we're going to determine the central message. And finally, I'm going to identify what helped you determine the central message. Let's take a look at our story and read through it together. One day, Raven found out that trying to get what others have may not be good for you. Raven saw a swan with white feathers. Raven thought he could change his black feathers white by washing in the lake. Raven tried hard to wash his feathers, but he couldn't change their color. Instead, his feathers got wet and he couldn't fly until they dried out. Well, let's go through our steps to determine the central message. We've already read carefully. Let's identify the characters. Raven and Swan. Now let's look for clue words that help us to find the central message. Found out. Good job spotting those clue words. Now let's take a look at our central message. What are we trying to learn? What does the character learn? Well, trying to get what others may have may not be good for you. Let's take a look at some things to help us to get to the central message. In the story, when Raven saw a swan with white feathers, that did not help us to determine the central message. Let's look at Raven tried hard to wash his feathers. Does that help me determine the central message? Yes, it does. Let's look at one more portion of the story. His feathers got wet and he couldn't fly. Does that help us to determine the central message? Yes, it does. Whenever we are answering our ELA questions, we want to think about, what am I trying to find out? What do I know about this idea? What words or information am I given? Does my answer make sense? 
did I answer the original question? Because sometimes when you determine the central message, you have to come up with your own words and your own version of the lesson that's being told. In this story, the oak tree and the tall grass, we'll have a portion where we have to explain why the text we chose determined the oak tree, what the oak tree learned. Let's take a look at the story together. A large oak tree was tipped over by the wind. It fell in some tall grass. The oak tree spoke to the tall grass. You are so light and weak. Why aren't you tipped over by the wind? The tall grass said. You oak tree stand stiff to fight the wind and end up falling. We change by bending with the wind and still stand tall. The oak tree found out that being stiff will hurt you while changing will help you. Sometimes you have to identify in your own words what the central message is. And then with your own words and text evidence, you have to support your statements. In our application here, they want us to explain why the text you chose help you determine what the oak tree learned. Well, here I see at the bottom, the oak tree found out that being stiff will hurt you while changing will help you. I see that the large oak tree was tipped over by the wind. That helped me to determine the, what the oak tree learned. That did not, excuse me. You oak tree stand stiff and end up falling. Now that did help me to determine what the oak tree learned. And we change by bending and still stand tall. That does help me to determine what the oak tree learned. So those statements support the, the central message in the story. And sometimes, just like any good reader, you have to go back and you have to verify whether or not the statement you chose does actually support your central message. So the oak tree is stiff and he ends up falling. And in C, the tall grass changes by bending and still stands tall. Those two text evidence statements support the central message. They support what the lesson is that we're trying to learn from this story. Now, why is this relevant? Why, Ms. Frazier, do we have to do this? Well, the central message in a story is a lesson about life. And so when we read stories, sometimes our motivation as a reader is to learn a lesson from that story. Well, determining the central message in a story will help you understand your favorite stories. In Pinocchio, what do we learn? Always tell the truth. And in Little Red Riding Hood, what do we learn? Do not talk to strangers. Determining the central message in a story will also help you to do well on tests. Reading stories and showing your comprehension helps to demonstrate that you understand what it takes to be a great reader. Let's bring our lesson to a close. Today we've learned about the central message of a story. I started by telling you that a central message in a story is a lesson about life. And when a central message is brought up in a story, the character in our story has learned something that will make their life better. I've also taught you today about clue words for central message. Learned, knew, showed, and found out. And most importantly, I've taught you a five-step process for determining the central message. One, read the story carefully. Two, identify the characters. Three, identify a clue word for the central message. Four, determine the central message. And five, identify what helped you determine the central message. Before we go, let's take a look at one more story. It's called Help or Revenge. An eagle caught a snake in its claws to eat it. The snake fought back and wrapped around the eagle to crush it. A man saw the fight and helped the eagle get free. In revenge, the snake spit poison into the man's cup. The eagle knocked the cup out of the man's hand 
and saved him from the poison. The snake found out that one good action leads to another. You ready to go through our steps? Here we go. Who were the characters? Eagle and snake. Good job. Identify those clue words for our central message. Found out. And what was the central message? One good action leads to another. Now, what text helped you to determine the central message? Was it A, the snake fought back? No. Was it B, a man saw the fight and helped the eagle get free? Yes, that does help me determine the central message. And let's look at this one. The eagle knocked the cup out of the man's hand. Does that help me determine the central message? Yes, it does. As we come to a close today, I want you to think about what you've learned and how what you've learned today can help you to further comprehend. So how did what you learned today about determining the central message of a story help you to become a better reader? Let's take a look at our learning target today. Today, we went through several different examples of fables, and we used those fables to help us to recount stories and to determine the central message or lesson or moral. We also explained how it was conveyed through key details in the text. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you've learned something new. Keep reading and keep soaring.